हेलो एवरी वन माइ सेल्फ मिस्टर सुनील दत्ता एन कुलकर्णी असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टिट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिलीवर अ वीडियो सेशन ऑन इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टीम कंडेंसर्स एट द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो सेशन यू विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन द स्टीम कंडेंसर स्टेट द एडवांटेजेस ऑफ यूजिंग स्टीम कंडेंसर and define the elements of steam condensing plant and their function the contents of this video session are definition of steam condenser functions of steam condenser advantages of using steam condenser in steam power plant elements of steam condensing plant and their function now let us see what is the definition of steam condenser before we study the definition of steam condenser as we know that in case of steam power plant we use the rankin cycle and in rankin cycle and four components like boiler steam turbine condenser and what feed pump in case of turbine or steam engine if you want to let out the steam after expansion in the engine or turbine to the atmosphere then we can expand the steam maximum up to atmospheric pressure theoretically or practically speaking the pressure of steam should be higher than atmospheric pressure so that it can come out of the steam turbine or condenser however if you want to expand the steam below atmospheric pressure then we need some closed vessel in which we can expand the steam below atmospheric pressure or vacuum pressure that is vacuum pressure which is called as the steam condenser now let us see the definition of steam condenser condenser is an is a device in which steam is converted into the water at a pressure less than atmospheric pressure let us think why do we get the pressure less than atmospheric pressure which we call it as a vacuum in case of steam condenser as we know that if we compare the specific volume of dry saturated steam at atmospheric pressure and if we compare the specific volume of saturated water then there is a huge difference the specific volume of saturated water at a pressure atmospheric pressure or lower pressure than atmospheric pressure it is 0.001 meter cube per kg it means that when the steam is converted into the liquid the specific volume is drastically reduced it is reduced by around 1000 times less compared to the dry saturated steam specific volume and therefore there is a production of partial vacuum inside the condenser thus in case of condenser we can uh, expand the steam at a pressure below atmospheric pressure or vacuum pressure we can see the condensation can be done by removing the latent heat of evaporation from the exhaust steam coming out of the turbine or steam engine using a circulating cooling water so after removing the exhaust steam uh, latent heat this exhaust steam gets converted into the saturated liquid in case of condenser actually a condenser is basically a heat exchanger in which the heat of steam is given to the circulating cooling water and steam gets condensed from vapor state to liquid state whereas the cooling water will get heated because it receives the heat from exhaust steam now let us see the functions of steam condenser the first function of steam condenser is to reduce the turbine exhaust pressure or back pressure of the turbine so as to increase the specific work output now the question arises why the specific work output will increase when we expand the steam from high pressure to a pressure less than atmospheric pressure there is a increase in enthalpy drop this increase in enthalpy drop gives us the more specific work output from the turbine and since the plant efficiency is defined as the net work output divided by heat supplied the net work output from the plant will be more when the specific work output of the turbine is more so we get increased the plant efficiency 
further it also gives us the advantage that the amount of steam required to produce 1 kilowatt of power will decrease that is for same size of the plant we will require the less steam steam flow rate that is the specific steam consumption will decrease when we use steam condenser now to condense the exhaust steam from the turbine and to reuse it as a pure feed water in the boiler so when we use the steam condenser what we advantage we get is that the exhaust steam is condensed back into the water which we call it as a condensate and this condensate being pure we can reuse it again and again as a feed water in the boiler only we require to supply the makeup water to compensate the loss of water if any so with the use of condenser we are getting two advantages first specific work output will be more and we can reuse the condensate again and again as a boiler feed water now let us see the advantages of use of condensers in case of steam power plant the first advantage that we get due to use of condenser is that we are having a higher pressure drop which results in the larger enthalpy drop due to this larger enthalpy drop or higher enthalpy drop we get the work output per kg of steam that is specific work output of the per kg of steam will be more in case of uh, plant using a steam condenser and which also results in the reduction of specific steam consumption third advantage that we get using the steam condenser is that as condensate can be reused as a feed water to the boiler and this condensate being hot this will re reduce the time of evaporation in the boiler further it will also result in the less requirement of fuel therefore the fuel required in case of boiler to produce the same state of steam from the initial hot condensate will be less which will cause the fuel economy or indirectly we can say that it will increase the boiler efficiency further because this condensate which we are reusing is a treated water no feed water treatment is required hence the cost of feed water treatment will be reduced which will also reduce the cost of plant further since this feed water is a treated water the problem of formation of scale deposits in the boiler can be prevented thus we get these advantages by use of steam condenser and steam power plant now let us see the various elements of steam condensing plant now there are totally the eight elements in steam condensing plant first one is condenser second is air extraction pump then condensate extraction pump circulating cooling water pump hot well cooling tower makeup water pump and boiler feed pump now let us see how these elements are placed at what location and how what are their functions now just now as we have discussed the condenser is a closed vessel in which the exhaust steam from the turbine or engine will be admitted and this exhaust steam will be uh, condensed into the liquid due to the removal of latent heat for this steam will give the heat to the cooling water which is circulated through the tubes in the condenser now as the steam gets condensed in the condenser the pressure inside the condenser is reduced that is we get the pressure less than atmospheric pressure which is which we call it as a vacuum so this condensate is at a pressure below atmospheric pressure so it is not it will not come out of the condenser on its own therefore we require some additional pump which we call it as a condensate extraction pump so the function of condensate extraction pump which is placed between the condenser and hot well is that it will take the condensate at low pressure from the condenser it will increase its pressure and it will deliver it to the hot well now this hot well is nothing but a storage reservoir for the feed water in the form of condensate now from this hot well the boiler feed pump will take this condensate as a feed water it will increase its pressure to the required boiler pressure and supply it to the boiler now another important 
device which we element which is used in case of steam condensing plant is that it is a air extraction pump the function of air extraction pump is that whenever the steam is entering into the condenser along with the steam the dissolved air enters into the condenser also there are other sources of leakage in case of condenser the air may leak through the joints etc so this air has to be continuously removed with the help of air extraction pump otherwise it will increase the pressure in the condenser and condensation will not take place properly so we use the air extraction pump to maintain the vac required vacuum inside the condenser now the another important circuit that we find is that if we do not have a large quantity of fresh water available for circulating inside the condenser then we require to use one of the important device which is called as a cooling tower so what cooling tower does actually when the cooling water is circulated through the condenser tubes then it will get heated this hot water is spread into the cooling tower and due to the phenomena of evaporation and direct contact between the air and hot water this cooling water gets cooled and it is collected at the bottom of the cooling tower this cold water again cooled water again is circulated through the condenser again and again using the cooling water pump there are certain losses during the evaporation phenomena the certain cooling water we are losing to make up that the make up water is supplied with the help of make up water pump from the nearby source available so these are the various elements of steam condensing plant and their functions these are the references thank you